In order to get started experimenting with MIDI control of digital instruments, I wanted to do Arduino projects, so I made this MIDI breakout board with today's sponsor PCBWay, providing MIDI in, out, and through DIN 5-pin jacks, as well as these tip ring sleeve 3.5 millimeter jacks. So depending what I need to hook up, I have a couple of ways to go about it. The MIDI, or Musical Instrument Digital Interface, is a way for digital instruments to talk to each other or a computer to send messages where one device can control the other. There's no audio sent, it's just commands like play a note, release a note, change properties of that note, and so on. So essentially, you can use a MIDI keyboard as a sound card for a computer by sending MIDI messages and having the keyboard play. Or you can have one keyboard playing and use that to control a second keyboard, which will play along, and you can combine the way both of them sound. You can hook up a drum machine and have that going as well, all synchronized up. So depending on the kind of MIDI device, it may just have an input or just an output, or it could have a through as well. So here's one example hookup with a MIDI through. The output of this device here will go to the input on this keyboard, and that input will be passed on through and can go to another input on another device. We'll look at examples of using both MIDI in and MIDI out, but for now, looking at the hardware itself, this design has transistor buffers to drive the outputs, and the input is opto-isolated, and then we have VCC ground and then a MIDI in and a MIDI out header that can go to an Arduino. And I have this set up to be a 5 volt logic board, but to use it on 3.3 volt circuits, a level shifter could be added to these MIDI in and out signals, or possibly just changing some resistor values here can allow it to work at 3.3, but I haven't tried that yet. For example, to make sure the optocoupler is still responding correctly. So what I'm going to do is have an Arduino Nano here, as opposed to this computer in this picture, and I can have the input and the output MIDI cables going between a music keyboard and the Arduino Nano. And I'm going to use the Nano to make the keyboard play, and also I'm going to use the Nano as a synth, so then I can use the keys on the keyboard just to send control messages, and the Arduino itself will generate the sounds. Looking up the electrical specs for the MIDI interface, the data in and out basically is a UART running at 31,250 bits per second. And in the case of a MIDI output, this would be a UART transmitter, for example, on the Nano, going through some sort of a buffer to drive this signal. Optional ferrite beads in line with the signals here in case there's any concerns with noise, but I'm not going to be doing that for my purpose. And otherwise, there's two resistors here on these pins. This ultimately drives an optocoupler on the other side where there's a MIDI input. And depending what values you use for these resistors, that will decide whether you're capable of running at 5 volts or 3.3 volts. So I've got it set up with 220 ohms here for a 5 volt system, but if I change it to a half watt 33 ohm resistor and a 10 ohm resistor, I should be able to run at a 3.3 volt supply. So one side of this MIDI cable is going to be pulled high at all times. The other side is either going to be high or low based on the state of this UART data. And when we look at the MIDI input specs, that 5 or 3.3 volts and those two series resistors are basically turning on or off an optocoupler, and that will go to a UART receiver on the other instrument or device to capture that MIDI data. Again, there's optional ferrite beads here as well as an optional capacitor for more signal integrity and noise immunity. I did put this 0.1 micro capacitor from pin 2 on the jack to ground, so if there is any RF noise, I can at least shunt it away from the cable that way. And if a MIDI through jack is provided on a system, it's just a buffered copy of the data that came on the input jack sent as this other pass-through output. 
to go to another device. For the tip ring sleeve jack, there's been a few implementations, but the one that was adopted as a standard is type A. So I've put these jacks on and connected them up this way as an alternative way to wire up MIDI devices if they're using this type of connector instead of the old DIN. Here's the schematic I implemented. So I'm taking 5 volts and ground from the Nano, hooking up the Nano's UART so that the transmit out goes to this MIDI out. So I put arrows on the PCB as well as the schematic to show the intent. Data is coming out of Arduino and it's getting buffered and sent to the MIDI out jack. I'm just using two cascaded NPN transistor switches to make sure the polarity of the signal stays the same. Then I have those 220 ohm series resistors, VCC 5 volts, and then either 5 volts or ground to actually send the data. On the MIDI input, it's driving a 6N138 optocoupler, and that creates a 5 volt logic data signal here, which can be sent to the receive UART pin on the Nano, and a copy of this is also buffered and sent to the MIDI through to go to another device if needed. On this 6N138, there's this pin 7 which goes to the junction between these Darlington connected transistors. By putting a pull down resistor here, it just helps the output transistor switch faster and give sharper edges. For the first test, I'm going to use the Nano as a synth. So it's going to take a MIDI input from another keyboard where I can hit a key or multiple keys. This is polyphonic, so it's got three oscillators. And those MIDI instructions will tell the Nano to start or stop tone generators and act as a musical keyboard sound generator. So I followed this schematic and just put this on the breadboard. The three tone generators are summed together with resistors and then we just have a little filtering and it goes to an amplifier to hear the sound it is generating. Here's the Nano with the sketch set up as a MIDI synth. So I have MIDI in and MIDI through cables hooked up. So I've got two keyboards with MIDI capability. One of them I'm going to use as a master hitting the keys and it's going to send MIDI commands in and the synth from the Nano is going to play on this speaker and at the same time the MIDI messages coming in from one keyboard will be buffered and sent back out to MIDI through and go into the second keyboard and when that one's turned on that will also duplicate the notes being played. So the keyboard on the top will be the master playing the notes. The one on the bottom will receive a duplicate of these commands from the MIDI through coming from Nano into here. Right now the amplifier for the Arduino synth is off, so we're not going to hear anything there. And the other keyboard is also off. The blue trace is the incoming MIDI from the keyboard. The green trace is the MIDI through buffered signal going out to the second keyboard and it doesn't go all the way to ground because of the voltage divider with the two 220 ohm resistors and the optocoupler LED. If I press some keys on the sending keyboard we should see the MIDI in and MIDI through responding. Now if I turn on the Arduino synth and do something on the keyboard, I should hear it in the synth as well. Now to test the MIDI through, duplicating the signal to the second keyboard. So everything is running with the MIDI in and the MIDI through. The next test I wanted to do is use a Nano as a MIDI controller. So I set up this project to read a MIDI file from the internet. I just went and downloaded something. And using this project, it will read the MIDI file from the SD card and send those MIDI commands to the MIDI output. So the Nano transmit pin is connected to MIDI out on here and that will go to the MIDI out cable to go and connect to the input 
of another instrument and that instrument will play the corresponding notes that the SD card MIDI file is commanding it to. And this project uses the SD FAT library for the SD card and to read and play back those MIDI files over the UART, it uses this MD MIDI file library. So I installed all of this. And as a side note, as far as a schematic, this project was using a different shield with SD card on it. So basically, I used a separate module and it's got the normal SPI serial clock and data connections going to the regular nano SPI pins. And the default is that the chip select is Arduino pin 10. I'm also using that. So looking at this MIDI file player library, it's got a bunch of demo sketches. So I used the loop one so it would keep playing whatever MIDI file is on the SD card. And this is the style of the micro SD card module I'm using. And so these pins go to the nano as appropriate, chip select being pin 10. The demo MIDI file that I downloaded contains all kinds of instruments, including percussion. So I can see in the serial monitor if I put that MIDI player in debug mode, so it's not sending out to the MIDI UART, it's just communicating regularly to the serial monitor. I can see every command that it is reading in is intended to go to a certain type of instrument. So for my first test, I'm going to hook this up just to the Korg Volca Beats drum synthesizer and see if it's at least doing anything on the percussion channel. And that sounds kind of out of context, just hearing the drums. Plus, I don't have it all hooked up properly with a line in, so it sounds even more ambiguous. So now I'll plug it into a keyboard that can actually replicate the percussion as well as the other instruments and the MIDI file will make more musical sense. So now at least I have a way to hook up between a project UART and MIDI instruments. I may want to try changing some of those resistors and see if this runs equally well at 3.3 volts or else if I'm going to use an ESP32 or a Raspberry Pi, I can still run this at 5 volts and do some level shifting, but now I can get started. 